What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. Today I'm building a bench harness to be able to tune the 411 PCM for Gen 3 and 4 LS series engines. I'm going to need this for my 6.0 CUCV build, but I'm also going to use it for projects in the future and to help friends and customers. All right, so let's start with everything you need to do this. You need the blue connector for your PCM. You can pull this from a junkyard or a parts truck, wherever. There, there's hundreds and thousands of these. You just find one wherever you can get one. An OBD connector port. Uh, again, you can probably get one of these out of almost any 1996 or newer vehicle. The whole point is that they're universal. So doesn't matter what you get it out of, but you need that connector. You need an AC adapter. This one converts from 120 volt wall power to 12 volt direct current and two amps. Uh, this is from an old tablet that we had laying around in the basement. Uh, but you can, there, there's millions of things that use a little adapter like this. You need something that preferably hits between 12 and 19 volts and a minimum of one amp of current. Uh, the, Otherwise you're going to have issues, but 12 to 19 volts, one amp is what you're looking for. So your OBD connector plug should have four wires coming out of it. Most of them will have four wires. The two black wires here in the center are going to be ground wires. Purple is your data wire and orange is a power wire. That you don't really need to mess with. Your PCM connector, you, you don't need to deep pin all the wires you're not gonna use. I'm gonna do it just to clean it up. But you really only need four wires out of this. You get the little plastic cover off the back of here first. It just pries loose. And then there's four wires that you need to keep. If you decide that you're gonna deep pin your connector, take all the extra wires you don't need out, you need to get these little blue covers off first. There's just a little clip down here on the side. You press that in and your blue cover slides out. Okay, so like I said, you got your little pin right in here. Just press it in. That side's loose. Same on the other end. Just press it in. That connector comes off, or that cover rather. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna de-pin this connector. I need to get out all the connectors that I don't, all the wires that I don't need. All of the connections, all the wires are labeled by number right here at the top. I know I need wire pin number one, that's a ground. Then right next to it, two, three, and four, I do not need. The easiest way I know to remove them is just grab that pin with a little pair of pliers and just pull that wire right through. All right, there we go. I've got my connector de-pinned. Pin number one, this black wire is a ground. Pin number 58, this green one is your data connection wire. Pin number 19 is a 12 volt switched power. Pin 20 is 12 volt constant power. Okay, so now we gotta get this stuff hooked up into the box. I cut my wires nice and long so that I have plenty of room, I can move the connector around if I need to. Okay, so next thing I need to do is get my little uh, power adapter wire ready here. Cut it off before you connect it to electricity. And then I'm just gonna use a little razor knife to strip my end here. Got my multimeter set to voltage. Grab the power. Plug it in. Back to ground. And there we go. I've got 11.98 volts. That's close enough to 12 volts for me. Should make the PCM happy, so I know this will work. So, next thing I need to do 
decide how I'm gonna lay everything out here on my little box. connector teeny one there we go. So that's my main power supply now coming out of that I want my two orange these are my 12 volt constant power these two together. I want all three of these together on that output from the first switch. That way nothing gets power until I turn that switch on. This, my little jumper wire, is going to feed my second switch. My two data wires the one for my OBD connector and the one for my PCM connector. I just connect to each other. Let's get our switched power connected to our switch here. And last but not least, we connect all of our grounds together. All right, everybody. So I've got our PCM, VCM as it's referred to in the program. We've got our HP tuners connected. Uh, so let's hit our switch to power. We've got a green light here. And let's hit our Mission power. Okay, second here. And let's turn it and let's see if we can. Let's make this bigger. Let's see if we can read. This says vehicle power not detected. Got both my switches on. We got this, I think I got this figured out now. So, turns out, my power supply here is a, it's a, it's a regulated in the transformer power supply. Uh, that ex, that's why I had two extra wires in the wire here. And what I need is just a dummy power supply that just provides 12 volts, that's all it does. This one is regulated inside. Apparently when the tablet was reaching full, it slowed it down to a trickle charge instead of a full strength charge. And basically I just had too smart of a 12 volt inverter. So I'm gonna wire in this other inverter I had. This is a much older one. It's just a straight 
12 volts or no volts. It doesn't have variable voltage. Uh, so we'll get that wired in and then we should be good to go. All right, everybody. I think that did the trick for us. I'm gonna flip our main power on, switch the power on. We got a bunch of blinking lights. That's a good sign. We'll read vehicle. Information. There, now we're getting something out of it. it. Says this is 2002 Sierra 1500 5.3 liter. Yep, that's the vehicle this PCM came out of. Let's read. Almost there, a couple more seconds. Three, two, one, zero. That's cleaning up. And. We've got it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bench harness complete. I'm gonna learn to tune on my own project and I'll, I'll share that with you guys when we get to that point. But I'm super excited, another step closer and uh, another what hopefully will be a very handy and useful tool going forward for this project and other ones. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with this whole project. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.